Now, the International Pentecostal Holiness Church's seven-year-long succession battle is far from over. Following the passing of church founder and leader Glayton Modise in 2016, there's been a tussle over who should take over the reins. Now the church wants to launch an urgent application for the proceedings determining ownership of the IPHC to be broadcast on national television. Let's get more on this story with the church's spokesperson, Sylvester Mongoleli. Thank you so much for your time, sir. We do appreciate it. Let's just start off with what exactly you are seeking come Tuesday in court. The relief sought that uh, the applicants are looking for in court is basically for the court to declare them as the rightful successors of uh, the Holy Nights Church, the IPHC, and uh, the other is for them to be appointed as the owners of the property of the IPHC, both movable and immovable. And the other is for the respondent to renounce their current position at the, the IHP, IPHC. And the, the other is for the respondent to be arrested and then sent to jail for life on account of uh, corruption and account of uh, torture. Who exactly do you want and uh, arrested and sentenced to life? They are the respondents, as they appear on uh, their respective uh, documents, are uh, the ones that are basically the direct descendant of uh, M.G. Modise, who basically uh, stole the position of being the leader of the church because he is not the biological son of the founder and comforter of the IPHC. The founder and comforter of the IPHC only had one son by the name of uh, Nchima and Simon Mudise. And then uh, the whole thing that is happening here is that the spouse of uh, the only son of the founder and comforter of the church is standing up to claim what is rightfully hers, including the biological grandchildren of the founder and comforter of the IPHC. The whole thing about uh, the issue here is that uh, the MG <coughs> Mudise, the previous leader, is not the biological son of the founder F.S. Mudise and comforter. Now, the biological son had lost his inheritance, which was basically stolen by uh, MG Mudise, whose sons are currently now as playing the role of being the heir of the, the, the IPHC. Okay. Um, why do you want them sentenced to life, though, for corruption? Why life exactly? It is the law of the land. The law of the land in terms of uh, the Corrupt uh, Activities Act explicitly sets it out. It is also the law of the land in combating and preventing of torture of persons act at section four. It explicitly sets it out. The only thing that the court must do is only to apply the law of the land and comply with it as obligated by the code of judicial conduct at article six of the, the code of judicial conduct. So the whole thing that is happening in court is only the relief sought is for the uh, the, the respondents to also stop using the name International Pentecostal Holiness Church. That is what uh, we aim to achieve on Tuesday, and that is what uh, the respondents will be told to do if the law of the land is applied in accordance with the Constitution and the law. And subsequently, they will be called upon to come and show cause why the applicants must not be appointed the rightful successors of the IPHC and why the applicants must not take all property movable and immovable of the IPHC and then why must they not renounce okay. their position as heirs. Okay, I would like to ask you about what happened in February in court. Uh, the judge uh, has made it very clear that she has been receiving death threats phone calls and messages yes. about uh, the attack on her life. 
She was surrounded by bodyguards in February. She had to postpone court proceedings because of this. Are you aware of these threats and do you distance yourself from the threats made to the judge that's presiding over this matter? We are aware of the threats. We are aware of the deaths and the killings that have happened as a result of the battle of leadership of the church. And then we are aware of the influence that has been imposed by members of the church to make sure that the law of the land is not applied. And all particular, in all reality and in all fairness, all the IPHC wants to see is the killings to be stopped, is for the threat to be stopped. The church is there to serve the nation. The church is not there to make sure that people live in false evidence appearing real, that their lives will be taken for only telling the truth. Time has come for peace to reign in our land. Time has come for corruption to go where it belongs. Time has come for their be to be justice in our land and for our people to worship God and actually fulfill their constitutional obligation enshrined in terms of Section 151 of the Constitution. It is a guarantee for the members of the church to be led by the biological son of the founder and comforter of the IPHC. The issue here is that, as you can see on the court papers, the applicants have got all the death certificate of the original founder and comforter, the unabridged certificate that shows who is the actual biological son and everything else. Now, the threats must come, and we ask for calmness and peace in the IPHC, all members of the IPHC must hold true to the word that founded the church. They must mm. hold true to the word that the Constitution is indeed the supreme law of the Republic. Any law or conduct that is inconsistent with the Constitution is invalid, and the obligations imposed by the Constitution must be fulfilled as obligated in terms of section two of the constitution so we do not have an issue of wanting unrest in the church we do not want members of the church fearing for their lives to tell the truth that there, also, there is only one biological son the okay mr mangoleli sorry I've, I've run out of time but i just and i'm sorry to interject but i just want to ask you one last question if you're speaking about the fact that people should not fear for their lives when they attend the church. Um, what does that say about how the church is being run at the moment if we've seen unrest at certain, certain branches of the church and you're already seeing um, the judge's life being threatened? So there obviously are fears of violence and threats on people's lives. How is this church being run at the moment if this is playing out? The issue about violence and threats is the issue of where the leaders know that they are the wrong leaders. And the people in church, some of them they know, some of the people have sat in church simply because they are loyal to the church. But they know that there is an issue of leadership and there is an issue of succession in there. That is why you find people bringing guns in church to try and then intimidate all those that are with the truth. The church is only about the word of God and the truth of God and the peace. It's not about guns. It is, in, it is unlawful completely for one to be attending a church with a gun and then being fearing for their lives for only telling the truth and worshiping God in true faith, not with lies. Corruption is lies. And that is what we need to eradicate from the belief and faith of the people that have been misled by people calling themselves their biological sons and the biological descendant or the rightful descendants, which they are wrong. We understand that people want to cling to power and then they want to kill for it. Yeah. But we call for in the church. We call for people to become, we call for people to keep the faith in the way that founded the church as the will of the comforter and the constitution of the church. Okay.
Thank you so much for your time. We wish you all the best for Tuesday. That is uh, Sylvester Mongolele, who is from the International Pentecostal Holiness Church. And just a reminder that uh, in February this year, the judge had to postpone proceedings. She was surrounded by four bodyguards because she had been receiving death threats.